Hi everyone. Okay, this is another update of things I've been up to. Uh, I did do another video before this, but I rambled for ages and it was about 800 megabytes or something. So I've decided to just cut it down. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos or I'll just skip through all this. I've got a few things to show you. Um, I wanted to do a really small um, mortalis list. Um, and originally it was because I wanted to break up from painting the blue of the ultramarines. Um, so I started doing this Elysian list, but I wanted to make it look 30k. So I didn't get away from painting blue because they're, they're going to end up being like Kalf, um like defense force or whatever. But I'm really happy with them. Um, lots of different bits I've used on them. So if I pick one up. You see, you okay, see, here we go. This is just these yellow bits um, are from a kid's toy. I've just broken up to make them look like girders and things. Anyway, what we have here is the corporation troops from uh, Mantic, is it? Warpath. Um, I didn't like the heads on them, I like the bodies. And also, I got a massive batch of a, of a mate who swapped for some bits. He just wanted some marine bits, and he said, "Oh, I've got a few of the old Rogue Trader arms, uh, and I got a load of them." He gave me loads, and he gave me loads of weapons as well. So I've got loads of these um, las cannons, the old school ones. And uh, I was looking at these Corporation troops, thinking. The guns look very thin on them as well. It just didn't fit for what I wanted. So after getting these arms and these guns, it kind of I did a little test model, and I was so pleased with it that I've just done a little thousand-point army. So what we got on them is um, Rogue Trader arms, really old Rogue Trader bolt pistols. I've got a really old on this guy, a really old like guard-sized plasma pistol, which is so cool. I only got one of those, so he's on my commander. I might be changing this yet, because this is the only Elysian figure I've got in here. And it doesn't quite fit with the rest. He looks okay, but... Yeah, so I've got... All I've really bought for these, because I had these corporation troops, and I found a lot of them online. Someone was selling them without the bases uh, for like seven ninety nine a pack. So I bought a couple of packs of those. I had some from from a while back. I've just bought some respirator heads from the Elysians, which look better than the other heads. Um, the, yeah, and all the rest is RT arms. I'm really, really pleased with them. Um, I've got lots of different. Oh, oh yeah, and I've been buying the. Oh, sorry, I, the other thing I bought was the special weapons. So I've got flamers on this guy. Got a bit of wire there. You do get like a piece of resin with with the model, but I couldn't be bothered to do it. I wanted a bit of a longer one on it. So, like I say, these are sort of for a Zomortalis Zom list because I didn't want too many uh, vehicles or anything. Here's another guy. Right? I had to do quite a lot of filling in the top. It's taken me a long time to convert these because. Uh, it's just so many different bits, they don't quite fit, so every single model really had to have be slightly tweaked. But there's a few that, uh, even things like uh, trying to get them, because the bodies are, and the legs are the same, all the same part. So trying to get them to, to into poses that look different was a bit of a chore. I did cut a couple of the bodies and twist them. But they came out okay. I'm pretty pretty chuffed with them. These I was really happy with because no one uses the um, the shotguns from the the Legion um, recon squads, and they just look so chunky. They really work. So I've got a vet squad with these bad boys. I'm just waiting for another one to come through the post so I can finish that off. Um, so that's in a little squad. Let's just move this over a bit. Excuse. So I've got a squad here. It's got three heavy, um, three melters. 
and all shotguns. And you've got a little captain, a little uh, sergeant here with a chain sword and uh, bolt pistol. One of the old, old bolt pistols. I've not seen any blue tacked on. I've got a plasma squad, three plasmas, um, and we've got a, a sergeant with a power sword and a bolt. Oh, sorry, it's fuzzing out. Power sword and a bolt pistol. I am going to go through all these one more time just to make sure I've got everything um, everything filled in with the gaps. I've also done a couple of backpacks to try and try to press moulding for the first time. So that's them. Uh, yeah, and I've got a flamer squad just over here. Let's move this back. Excuse me. I've got a flamer, three flamers, and I've got a little sergeant who's there in there as well. The one with a chainsaw. So also, I've done a test model. I know a lot of people have said to me, I wanted it to be to echo the my other Marines, and uh, as these guys have been chosen as a drop force, they're coming with my drop pod assault. Uh, they're going to be veterans, and they're going to be honoured by giving being given armour with with Legion colours. And also, my vets have got the white stripe, and a lot of people are saying that means you're a conscript, but I don't care because it's 10,000 years before. Uh, so, yeah, I think it looks, it just breaks up the blue and it just looks cool, I think. And like either the, the, um, the sergeant's either going to have red with a white stripe, or I might invert this and have it white with a blue stripe. I'll do a, I'll do a test on that as well, but. I'm pretty happy with him, he looks pretty cool, I love the old look of the las guns and everything and it uh, came out okay so there we go, test model done also I did a little uh, silly, they get a scanner which means that uh, they can choose two different scans or they can do a short scan which gives any squad I choose a turn on a 4 plus uh, ability to roll their misses, re-roll their misses and that will be going with my command squad which is the last squad I got to do it's just a watch battery with a couple of bits but it came out okay saves so buying one uh, yeah I'll show you that also I've got I don't know if I can get them out now I think, I think it's called Dead Zone is it? the other Mantic game that's it's like a skirmish game I've got to make a commissar for this force. Uh, I've just got these guys. I thought they'd make quite cool character models. That guy, but this guy here is going to be my commissar. What I'm going to do? He's got the, got the cloak, got the, um, the coat. I'm going to take this head off. I'm going to put one of the um, respirator heads on. He's not going to have his commissar hat because he's, he's part of this drop list. So he's got his jacket. He's going to have a respirator head on so he looks like the rest. But instead of being painted like this, he's going to be in black. So that, I think he looks pretty cool. Should be able to get a nice pose with him. He, and also, I did notice in this little pack I got, you got this little guy. So I'm going to be testing my green stuff skills out. I'm going to make him into a Jacaro, just as a little project somewhere. So yeah, that's those guys. I think that's all I'm going to do on these for now. I will talk about these later. So uh, basically, that's my new little project, the uh, Elysian 30k guard. Uh, oh, one last thing before I go. I'll do a different video on this, but I've been converting up sentinels into drop sentinels so I'll do a video on that on my on its own because some people might want to have a go at that maybe not but here you go anyway thank you very much I think I've rambled again cheers